Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can migrate your website from one hosting provider to another hosting provider. So I have already hosted my website on bigrock.in and now I am going to shift my hosting from bigrock.in to go viral. So what I need to do is I need to log in first of all to bigrock.in. And here you have to uh, put the username and password and then click on login. So here you will be getting uh, the specific uh, name of your uh, domain. You, once you will be clicking over it, you will be getting the details. So actually uh, the domain is pointing to this specific uh, server right now. So I am going to change the name server from here. So we have already server name uh, this big rock and now I, I'm going to shift this to go viral. So I have to paste over here. This is one and two. And then after I have to click on update name servers. So the name server details have been successfully updated. So, uh, so this will be updated shortly. Actually, uh, this will not uh, affect on the uh, on the settings immediately. But after some time, uh, this will be pointing means your uh, domain name would be pointing to specific uh, server. Actually, my domain registration is uh, domain and hosting both are registered in Big Rock. But now I am just uh, pointing this domain to my uh, uh, go viral server only. All right. So that means I am not shifting the domain from here. I'm only shifting my hosting from here. I have purchased the domain from Big Rock. So I will uh, keep my subscription from here only. All right. The only thing I have shifted is the hosting provider. All right. So now what I have to do is I have to go to the cPanel of uh, the Big Rock. And there I have to go to the file manager. And what I need to do is I have to compress this public underscore HTML fo uh, folder uh, into the zip file. So once I will be doing that, for example, this is the compress. So here I will be getting the options zip, archive, tar and all the others. All right. So you have to compress. I already compressed that one public underscore HTML. Then after you have to right click and then uh, download this from here. All right. So after downloading, you will go to the uh, next hosting provider. So that URL is this one. So once you will be logging into this specific cPanel, then you will be finding this file manager. And here you will be getting public HTML. So you have to download from here uh, this public HTML dot zip file and then upload that zip file over here. All right. You will be getting this option upload. So you have to upload that specific uh, folder over here and then extract and rename that uh, folder and uh, or you can also uh, move all those files into this public HTML. All right. So one more thing you have to do is you have to go to uh, your PHP my admin and uh, there you have to uh, export all the databases and then yeah. These are all databases I have already created. So you have to click on export and then after you will be uh, getting all those uh, uh, all those databases. So you have to click on go and all the database. Yes, let me click on go. So in this way, all the databases would be downloaded in uh, into localhost.sql. And then what you have to do on the next hosting provider is like you have to click on PHP my admin over there and the downloaded localhost.sql uh, file you have to upload from there to here. All right. 
so for example we don't have any database over here but currently i have an empty database so i also wanted to uh, import the database from there so you can see that uh, there are a lot of databases and uh, currently i'm only interested to uh, upload this specific database so what i need to do is i will be exporting from my old or you can call it existing uh, hosting provider so this would be downloaded and once that would be finished then after we will be uploading over here but here we need to uh, first of all uh, create the database so how we will be creating so on the new hosting server i have to go to the mysql databases and here i will be getting uh, no record that means no database created yet so i am just creating my database from here and you will get this record this means the database has been created and once you will be refreshing this php my admin then you will be getting that database over here all right so what i will be doing is i will be clicking on this specific database and let me see yeah this is already downloaded so i have to import that downloaded database so i have to click on import and then need to choose that specific file which has been up downloaded just now so that is this one so you have to click on go so finally our database has been imported successfully so whenever we will be uh, accessing our website like this one so we will no more be facing any problem why because the database and everything is uh, shifted from one hosting server to the other one so i think you got the understanding of uh, uh, the migration of uh, your website from one hosting provider to another one if you are still facing any issue you can contact me i will be including my details in the description so you can uh, contact me anytime if you are feeling any uh, problem in hosting provider or even any specific website technical issue uh, payment gateway related issue you can contact me so see you in the next video